Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome yourselves back to the InSync Podcast. I'm here with Lucas, uh, and today we are going to be talking everything Coldplay, basically the future of Coldplay. And uh, the reason is, the reason we do these videos in the first place is because they drop new music, or they're about to, or something like that. But in this case, obviously, Cold, you're, you're a Coldplay fan, you know this. Coldplay dropped their two new songs, which we're going to give kind of our opinions on, right? But mostly if you want to get our opinions um reviews and reactions to it check it out on the channel we did it a week ago or two um yeah we reacted to both of their new songs orphans and i cannot pronounce the other one but we we did those um and we thought they were pretty cool you know to summarize to summarize it um and yeah we're doing this for kanye because obviously he just dropped a new album so if you're interested in that check them out if you want to see other people uh, the future of other people and before we get into last thing i'm gonna say like i said every single thursday to your new to all your favorite artists we're gonna be the first people to review their music so when coldplay drops their album uh, we will be the first people to review it um okay luke is a big big time coldplay fan i'm a i i quite like coldplay as well obviously i'm not, I'm not like a huge fan but don't get me wrong they're a great band which is why we're talking why, why we're talking about them um so i'd like to start it off by saying just from being like a small coldplay fan um i have very very like it's very very obvious that if you look at some of their some of their not old old stuff but oldest new stuff like like their newest stuff but it still was a while ago you know what i mean like their oldest new stuff um yes. their, their most recent music before this that's what i'm saying if you look at it and then yes. you compare it to this ep um, or even songs like something just like this or him for the weekend to me Maybe Lucas disagrees. We'll see it literally in a second, but to me it seems Very very different and I believe that makes me think The future of Coldplay is gonna be a lot different from their old stuff. What do you think Luke? Um, I, I definitely think they're experimenting a lot more more in the R&B section Arabesque, I think that's what I think is what it's called. Thank you, Arabesque. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a more um, R&B song. And Orphans, I, Orphans was, um, Orphans did sound different. Orphans was not my favorite song. Um, I think my least favorite song. It could grow on me, but I wasn't a huge fan of that song. But Arabesque, that's more of an instrumental kind of song, and that um, that's only that's charted pretty high in Belgium right now. It's top 20s right now. In Belgium. <laughs> Yeah, Belgian Broski. And, um, yeah. And, and Orphans has charted 23 in the, um, Hot Rocks, US Hot Rock songs, Billboard, stuff like that. Oh, okay. And it's, yeah, it's actually gone pretty high. Oh. And going, going off that, um, I feel like the album will go, will do pretty well because Cold, Cold, Cold Place, um, fans are pretty loyal. So I won't, I will probably go at least platinum <laughs> yeah well yeah at, at least platinum that's the most you can get and it's it, sorry sean were you gonna say something no i wasn't all right and i don't know i don't think it's gonna chart as high as everything else i do not think it will chart as high as their other music and i think that's the price they're paying for being or for playing different music here because the first album parachutes came out 2000 that was um that went 51 on the U.S. U.S. Um, Billboard Top 200, and that was their first huge album. They had EPs before that, but that wasn't really, they were not really noticed. I mean, Shiver was on Parachutes, Yellow was on Parachutes, Trouble was on Parachutes, and I mean, it's, they're all really, really big songs in the album, and that's how they started it off. And then after that, um, A Rush of Blood to the Head, that had In My Place, The Scientist, Clocks, God put a smile on, upon your face, which wasn't a huge song, but it's a pretty catchy song. That that went to number five, so you see a big difference there, and how they started off, and yeah. And then after that, X Y X and Y went number one, and um, and then after that, Viva and La Vida or Death and All His Friends went number one too in the Billboard, and the Billboard is really what matters. You want you want to chart pretty high on the U.S. Billboard Top 100, and Milo. <laughs> um, Xylota, I think that's, I'm bu probably butchering it right now, but that's what I think it says. That went number one. Ghost Stories went number one. 
head full of dreams went number two, which really surprised me. And because him for the weekend was such a huge, huge song. And I mean, the overall album was very cool too. And head full of dreams. I mean, it had so many, so many great, great singles. It had Adventure of a Lifetime, which was huge. Him for the weekend, which was huge. Head full of dreams, which was huge. Up and up was pretty big. Everglow was pretty big too. But like, you think that this would be by far their best album because it has some of the best songs I think I've ever heard from them. And it's it's really it's it's really pretty cool. Um, but I don't know how this album's gonna do. I think because they're experimenting a little bit more, this will probably go to the fifties in the Billboard Top Two Hundred. Do not think it will probably have a similar um, charting place as Parachutes did in two thousand. And I'm not, not not that that's bad for Coldplay. You you think that they would do a little bit better because Coldplay has been the one of the biggest bands for the past. 20 years a little bit more than 20 years and it's really but overall i really do like their singles i, I i'm not a huge, like i said i'm not a huge fan of orphans but arab uh, arabesque arabesque that, yeah. the, the instrumental is very cool so i, I i'm really for me i'm excited as a coldplay fan to see what they will do in this album yeah so um i i i i feel like um Coldplay a lot of times focuses on uh, vocals and production in an arabesque. That's really fun to say now that I know how to say it. Um, yeah, bro. you get you guys try it too. But uh, I feel like in in this song, I, I feel like they have not um, correct me if I'm wrong, but really really focused on like making more than half of a song just basically centered circled around whatever you want to say the instrumental. Um, yeah, I definitely don't think... I've not seen many songs like Arabesque yeah. um, made by Coldplay. And it's mainly been great vocal production. Not that there isn't great vocal production here, but it's not as good as past albums. Yeah. If you look at X and Y, like Fix You was huge production. Speed of Sound was huge production. Talk was huge production. I mean, look at all these on X and Y. And I feel like X and Y was really focused on vocals and more than anything else. Instrumental was great. But vocals were really, were really fire. Well, I mean, something just like this in him for the weekend definitely were focused on vocal, uh, uh, be, uh the instrumental. Uh-huh. But that's the chain smokers. It's a different kind of instrumental. You know what I mean? The, I mean the than, a, smo- than a jazz kind of instrumental. Yeah. It's it's a lot different if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for their new stuff too because I don't think anybody can dispute that their new stuff is probably gonna sound far different unless like. These single, these two singles, well, this this little, this two song EP is not gonna be on the album. I mean, that's a possibility. Um, but I'd say Orphans, uh, kind of. To me, Orphans sounds like uh, whether you like it or whether you don't. To me, it kind of sounds like a aged, mature version of Coldplay's signature sound but a little different because it's you know i'm like a matured version and then um arabesque sounds like something totally different um and i think going back to the charts thing i do i on yeah because like you're saying it different doesn't always sell you know what i mean so yes. it, I, i'm just really not sure what they're uh, both of us really just not sure what their new stuff is gonna be it, it these might just be some offshooted singles like uh, like when we on our video title for the review it was like is this the new coldplay or like coldplay 2.0 like that's really what it seems like and that makes the future of coldplay for me really exciting like even past this album you know what i'm saying um yeah but i just don't it just depends what style they go with i'm not necessarily really excited if they go with the style they've always gone with and these are just kind of like a bam- bamboozled singles and that's not the style they're going to be going for i think that could sell more but i think if they were to change and mature and mess around with their style um that makes their future bright for their fans but for the mainstream media i uh, i mean definitely some of the songs are going to chart 
like on Spotify, yeah, yeah, all that. Uh, yeah. But smash hit, I just don't know. I, I really just don't know. You, you know what I mean? What do you, what do you think? Like, do you... Um, I mean, they th- definitely did. Um, yeah, wait, what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say, do you think their new stuff is going to sound exactly like this uh, two-single EP? Um, I think, I mean... I think it will sound pretty different because I mean they've released two songs that are different than what they've done before, and I feel like they they really did take their time on this album because I've waited for I've waited for just about four years for them to release another album. It better Head be good. Dreams, Head Full of Dreams came out on December fourth, two thousand fifteen. And this is this next album, Everyday Life, is scheduled for the twenty second November twenty second. 2019 oh so i didn't even know that so that's 20 days 20 stay tuned yeah. guys we're gonna be doing that uh it's, and it's gonna be pretty exciting but like i feel like they really took their time to really think about what they were going to do next for a while i, I mean i looked at the the cold play like will there be a new cold play album and a lot of what scared me is there are a lot of people that thought there weren't going to be and they just put on their Headline: There will not be any more Coldplay albums, and it's clickbait. So I'm I'm gonna click on there and be like, wait, I'm really mad now. And it, I mean, maybe there wasn't really- gonna be, and then the, the, the and then yeah. the team was and then the crew was like, all right, let's do it. But I like where you're going with that. So I got a question. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna do another album after Everyday Life? Are you um, gonna have to wait another four years? I hope I hope not. I really. I really hope not. This is really, it's, I really hope that they keep making albums after this. Because they're still one of, they still have a huge, huge crowd. Oh, yeah, like, that's they're, true. They're going to go, they're going to sell out stadiums. They're going to sell out everywhere, just about everywhere they go. Yeah. And, I mean, I think if they, play, if, I think if they played a bar, the whole town would be there try, trying to get into that bar. Oh, yeah. And it's, it. It's really. I think they're gonna be. Um. I think they will make more more albums that more albums after this. Cause there are a lot of people. They would spend so much money to get all all that. I mean, just to get tickets, just to be in, be there, just to have the Coldplay experience. Cause Coldplay has been one of the best live bands for the past twenty years, and we we've, we've seen it. We've seen it. We've we've seen them do really good live. His falsetto seems to never go away live. I've seen so many, so many concerts. I've not been to a concert, but I've seen him online, and he's just nailed every single song. And he has great backup vocals. Just about everyone sings in that band. The drummer sings very well in that band. He does a lot of the high harmonies. He does the third above most of the time, and he sings Beyonce's part in him for the weekend. And that's definitely hard for a guy. For, for a guy to do that, I'm, Chris Martin, I'm surprised he's not forced because I feel like he pushes his range there a little bit. But I do feel like they will keep making albums because they, they like they love their fans. They they they've said this openly. They love their fans. They love seeing their fans happy. And this is definitely going to make their fans happy if they keep releasing albums. Yeah, and yeah, I, I think their future as long as I, okay. I think there's two 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 features for them. One, they keep the same style. I think that'll be good either way. Two, they switch around their stuff. If they do it the right way and they don't try to be someone else who they aren't and, you know, just, eh, you know what I mean? Then it won't be cool. Yeah. It won't be cool with the fans. It won't be cool, whatever. But if they just, they just stick with it and there's a lot of hype for this. If they meet the hype, I think Coldplay is good. So I think the future of Coldplay... To be honest, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but I think it it can go either way, to be honest, because these singles were not phenomenal. Yeah, Arabesque Instrumental, we both we both agree, was really cool, but these weren't like, boom, you know what I mean? So they got to, yeah. they got to, they got to release some fire music November 20th, and it, we'll see. Um we'll do a whole album reaction right Pro- probably probably friday because that takes a while if we want to do it like correctly but either way if y'all gonna see that so if you want to see that why not subscribe like are you <laughs> what's wrong with you like well, I, it, 
if you weren't to subscribe, like, then there'd, there'd have to be something wrong with you. Because we're gonna be do we're gonna be seeing if what we're talking about right now is true or not. So subscribe <laughs> for that, bro. Like that. Comment down below below what you think their new album is gonna be. Because this is kind of album predictions as well. And their future beyond that, and their future right now, and what you think about their songs right now. And like I said, check out the review our reviews slash reactions to uh their freaking songs, Orphans and Arabesque, um uh, on the channel. And Luke, you got anything else to say to the people? Oh yeah. Check out the Instinct Podcast Instagram account. Yes, check that and out. That should be in the link in the, in the description. And yeah. Literally yeah. just just the Instinct Podcast on Instagram. And even better, check out Lucas's channel. Link in the description. I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. We love you. Goodbye.